uh, indicating that in 1991, Obama was being marketed as a man born of a finance minister in Kenya, of Kenya, raised in Indonesia, and ultimately in Hawaii. Alex Jones reporting on some of the biggest news we've ever covered. This just confirms everything. I am so blown away right now. About an hour ago at the office, I filed this report and linked to the Breitbart breaking news. Bombshell, Obama born in Kenya. And who says that? Obama's publicist. That's right, his literary agent. So that's your publicist for books. They used this from the early 90s until 2007. That's the one point I didn't add in my video. I pointed out that it was Hillary that first brought out that he was born in Kenya because the Clintons have all the files and everybody, that his wife, Michelle, had said in two different speeches they would go back to his homeland where he was born in Kenya. I show that in here. But then I was going back over to Breitbart, and I noticed just as a footnote this, a whole nother article Obama's literary agent used Born in Kenya bio until 07. He had books published then, bestsellers. Obama was writing books. I mean, this went out. He knew this. The candidate's close family members are not watching in New England or in Texas, but from here in the west of Kenya. Uh. Saeed Obama is the presidential hopeful's uncle. He's been watching his famous nephew's progress from the town of Kazumu. Another Obama still living in the village is Barak's grandmother, known as Mama Sarah. Senator Obama has been back only a few times. Even so, there's a strong attachment between the two of them. Barak and Nyati Dalani. His wife says it. They keep his college records and high school sealed. We know he, they said, oh, he's not Barry Sotero. That's made up. Now they go, oh, yeah, he was Barry Sotero. And he calls in now and makes jokes about it to radio shows. And you can go link through to the archive.org link, and it's all there. That he was a New York Times bestseller and all this, and he was born in Kenya. I mean, my God, this is insane. And look, folks. You can't have somebody foreign-born because in the old days they would send people into other European countries, say from France into Germany or vice versa, to get people in and then get them in and then, and then get them elected or to infiltrate government and things like that. But with this issue is they can blackmail him with this info, and they're clearly doing it. I guess, I guess this is the Clinton's third ter term or something. I, I'm almost speechless right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. But look at everything else we've seen from this president. This is just off the charts in our face, and the whole power structure knows this. And they were using it until 07, from the early 90s until then. I mean, that's way over 10 years, more like 15 years, right at 15 years. There it is, Barack Obama, the first African president of the Harvard Law Review, was born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia and Hawaii, and it goes on. And there's all these different copies of it. They've sent out different versions over a decade plus. This is huge, huge news. They may stage a false flag or something to cover this up. This is massive. Barack and Nyati Dalani. Barak and Nyati Dalani. Katamu so pinjongi mana katame no kono. Watch an Danny Adi, Tadio Timo Duaro Komedu, Omisa.